welcome back. In this video, we are going to make requests from our React application to fetch all movies as we see here in the postman. So we are going to make use of React to handle this. So let's head over to our movies component here and uh, sorry, movies page, so that's component though. So let me close this once and under pages and movies, we are going to make the request here. Cool. So first thing first, I need Axios, the one we installed. So Axios is an HTTP client to make calls to external server. All right, cool. So when I have my Axios, so the next thing is I want to handle internal state. So I need what is called use state. And I also need use effect, okay, to make um, automatic calls as soon as this component get mounted. And I want to save all the response coming back from this API into a state. So I'm going to make use of use state here, use state. And then I want to save the values, the result coming back from this as movies. And then the function to update is called set movies. And by default, it's an empty array. Cool. So now let's create a function to make the call. So let's comment here and say fetch movies like that. So fetch movies, because we want to make use of async await, we cannot call the ATP call inside use effect, but we can do it, but we can we have to modify the use effect a different way to be able to use async await inside use effect. Because of that, we are going to create our own function called fetch movies. And then we want to call this function inside our use effect fetch movies like that, and it takes nothing. So let's comment here. Before that, let's make use of try and catch in case there is any error. Try and catch here. Sorry, guys. So in case there is an error, we want to catch it here like that. Cool. So next is let's have a variable called data here and then let's make the actual call by using axios.get. If you saw the postman, it was get right here. All right, that is what the, the HTTP client says we should use. So next is let's go over the API that we want to make call to. So let's head over to our utils and the APIs, and then we want this. So let's copy this for the for the meantime. Copy that, and then let's paste it inside here. Cool. So now. We pass in our keys, but we will find a way to secure our API key. This is not a preferred way to, the, to do that. So now let's quickly destructure what is coming back from the response. And in case there is some error, let's console.log the error like that. So here, let's console.log the data that is coming back from this response. So data here. And then the last thing is let's call this function inside use effect. And this effect takes a callback function as a first parameter. And the next one going to be the dependencies that depends on for this component to re render. So let's call our function called fetch movies. And it needs any ID here? No. So let's try it out. So as soon as the component get mounted, let's go back to console and check it out if you have the movies inside the console. Okay, no, this one. Okay, movies. And let's refresh. It says that movies is undefined. So at the time of calling that, it says that it's, let me rearrange it well like that. Okay, so why is undefined? It says that movie is not defined, data is not defined. What is the problem? Okay, so let's try again. It's still undefined. Line number 13 is undefined. Okay, let's stop destruction and see something. And let's try and fetch. Oh, you see, because this is a promise, we need to handle it. We need to, because I want to make use of a width, I want to mark my function as an async. Right, remember, promises. 
So I have to mark this one as an await because that's what I saw pending. Check it out. And now I have it. So this time around, I can destructure the data here because we have data here. So I can destructure and get that one that I want. Cool. So with this, let's save it and see what we have. We have the same data that was displayed inside Postman. This one. There we go. You see that? So on each, we are going to render this post. Sorry, <laughs> this movies. So now when you get back the response, let's save this one into movies. So let's update our state called set movies. And then we have to pass in the, the data we want. So data on that, we have what is called the result. I'm using question mark for chaining because I want to avoid using something like this. So in case there is, if there is a data and now data dot results. So the, you call this one optional chaining to help us to retrieve a nested data. So this was the same as result. All right, because on data, we have result. This one, this is what I want. This one, okay, this holds all my data here. Cool. So now, if I let's check the console, the errors that we have, it says that something is used, but it's not blah, 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 whatever. Okay, it says the movie is assigned value. You use effect has missing dependencies. Okay, history. Yeah, you go back to that. Okay, now, so if you try to console log movies, this time around here, let's console log movies, and you can see that we have we stored the data inside movies and check it out and there we go all right so we have the movie so now we can look through this data and this is what we see here at the final one if we come to the movies um we have the results of the movies all right so next is we need to find a way to display this data so let's come back to movies again that is why we need another component to render all these movies so we have to create a component that's going to be reused throughout the entire project right so inside the components let's create one for another folder and call call it content details content details like that and let's call fold not folder is a file and let's call this one content details dot js and then let's scaffold quickly like that okay cool by for the meantime let's add h1 and say uh, movie details cool so when we get back the movies first of all let's check for in case there was an error or loading so let's create one small state called use state and call this one loading and then let's set to set loading capital letter and by default yes it's loading <laughs> by default it's loading and then let's also keep track of the error so let's call this one use state and say it's error it's error and then let's set its error so by default set is error is it like this set is error okay like this and by default is there any error there is no error all right so now when we get back the data let's change set loading to false and then when there is an error let's update our state called set is error to true so we're going to keep track of this set error okay cool set error is to true all right so now we have the movies we are going to loop through and display all the movies all right so because of that we need another comp api from material ui called grid system right so we head over to material ui let's go again to material ui so i'm going to use another um, component called grid system so grid system is a way of what incorporating what um responsive design so let's come to components 
and then let's come to surfaces and then let's come to no surfaces yeah under under what um yeah under layout great all right so let me explain to you how the grid system works right so this grid system gives you a layout that is really responsive as you can see it based on flexbox right so a whole column takes to 12 watt values so if you add um six plus six this one will take the entire what column right cool so on the extra small you can see that i want the length of this row to be six and six so that to be 12 and then if we add three three plus three plus three plus three is 12 so it will be on the same line okay so let's implement that and see how you're gonna work cool so let's head over to our project here and first of all let's bring in the grid system so from material ui and gray from at material ui core so here instead of just this movies let's wrap this one with grade right the grid system and if you pass a container to this so it's a container right and in in between we have your grid items so here we have the individual what grid items and you can place anything you want here let me call this one h1 and say item one cool and then for this grid you want to cover the entire space if you do that if you want that you can place a value here and say that on a small screen or on a small screen it's supposed to be md give it a value of 12 meaning that it should cover the entire what the entire space right that it can so but for now let's provide we want to display two items on a row right so let me show you the final one what we have let me open the final one here a minute and let me search for the final one let me change it here something like that and then let me change this one here sorry guys i want to show you the final one okay i've opened it here let's save it it's loading oh no not the final one okay so let's continue you will see it visually all right so two so here i want to provide a value of six i want to have two items on a row so now with this we can now loop through all this post list all the movies sorry so here let's make conditions here so first of all if there is movies and then dot map for this map we're going to return and we have individual movies and quickly we can return some gsx for now let's return each one and say movies and check it out what we have there we go you see that we have the movies here so instead of returning we are going to give the data to our component details right so let's bring the component details here the so content details sorry the content details like that and then let's return the content details and pass the data to content details right like so and here let's label this one as movie movies or movie and then let's send the whole movie to that so if you save it let's see what we have you see you have movie details now it is rendering that movie details all right so cool so in between here we are going to return some html all right so content details here we can now destructure the movie from here for now and you want to have a structure of HTMLs, and i don't want us to start typing the html so i'm going to copy the html here um, and i'll provide in the description to just copy the html and place it inside so let me copy it here i have already have it so in between this one let me replace with this is it like a skeleton right so i'll provide the the template in the description below so 
If we see that on the duties, we have a component called button for material UI. So let's bring in the button. So we import and say button from React, sorry, material UI core. Save it and let's see. We see that we have on style component like that. All right, cool. So what next? You need to add the CSS. So I also provided the CSS for you already and I also provide in the description below. So all what you need is copy this the CSS file and then go to have copy that and let me go to my index.css. Let's remove that and paste this and check it out. There we go. We see that we have it like that. But it's not nicely laid out. So this is what you are going to fix it to make it in two column layout, right? So as soon as you apply the CSS, we have this. So we are going to fill up this ones with the actual data. So cool. So let's head over to the movies part. Where is it? My movies. Um, here, um, here, where we are returning the grid, right? So we have to do something more than that. So we need to apply some direction because this is based on uh, flexbox so on the parent you need to tell that the direction of this one should be row okay so direction here let's say direction here is supposed to be row all right there we go check it out okay now justify content let's add justify content also to be center and check it out there we go and then align items also no comma align items and this one is also supposed to be what center like that check it out and now we have what one column layout and this is not what we want so we want it to be display in a great item so we need to provide the, this one as an item here as prop to show that this is what an item all right better still we have one column don't worry we will fix this cool so now let's fix let's i mean um display the actual movie titles right so let's go over to the movies content details here and then we can quickly destructure that right so here let's provide the movie titles and where is it um here all right so if you console log the movie so let's console log the movie and see the properties we want so let's come here and on that we see we have the title this one so let's replace this one with movie the title and let's have some optional chaining now if you save it now we have jungle cruise there we go and we can also change the rating here as that so we can end here in the next video we want to finalize the layout of the components and we continue from here as well.